And now we come to 7.1c. I saw so the triangle. 等于三角形 I saw so the triangle. Example five. In the figure, AB equals to AC. That is this side equals to this side, and E are the midpoints. Midpoint of AC and D is the midpoint of AB. And now we have to prove that CD equals to BE. First of all, we have to write down the conditions as stated in the problem. We have AB equals to AC. Therefore, triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. And D is the midpoint of AB. That is, we can mark the sides in this way. And E is also the midpoint of AC. But since triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle, therefore these two sides will be equal to each other to AD, AE, BD, and EC, because each side is half of the equal side of isosceles triangle ABC. And now we have to prove that CD equals to BG. Now, can we find a pair of congruent triangles in this figure? And now here comes our strategy. Which pair of triangles should we consider? We have two choices actually: triangle ABE and ACD. ACD, ABE is here. ACD is here. These pair of triangles have have sides related to CD and BE, and the other pair will be BCD. And C B G again. These pair of triangles have sides related to the sides to be proved. Let's just consider the first pair first. A B E the blue one, A D C the red one, and now you can see that these two triangles have two pairs of equal size. For example, if this is one unit, one unit, one unit, one unit, then the blue triangle. Has a side of two unit, and again there is a corresponding size in the red triangle AC, and again for the blue one we have a side of one unit, and for the red one we have again another side of one unit. So actually we now have two pairs of equal size right now in this two triangle, and of course the last side CD and BA is the size to be proved. So therefore we have to switch to look at the angles. And it is quite obvious that this common angle is the same for two triangles. This is a common angle A. So therefore, by S A S, these two triangles are congruent to each other. And now we can write down the proof as follows in triangle A B E. Triangle. A, C, D. We have A B equals A C. This is a given condition. And A E equals to A D. Again, this is another given condition based on the midpoints D and E. Finally, angle A is a common angle. Therefore, triangle ABE is congruent to triangle ACD. We have SAS. Note that again, we have to follow the order of the letters uh, as represented by the equal sides and equal angles. We have to follow the exact order SAS. And now we can write down CD equals to B. G. Corresponding size congruent triangles. Yes, that's it.